It is Monday morning. Oh, chef, oh, good morning. We are back out on site here. We just have out on site here at the moment. About to deliver some training and vehicle fleet inspection techniques. It's Tuesday, Sunday evening, and we're just back up at our train centre here in Lissa Ski. Let's go. Yeah, that's okay though. Alright, good man. Yeah, okay, well I'll come back in that and make sure that we can get booked in. Thank you, chat later, bye bye. Right folks, it is Monday morning and we have been on the go from 20 past 6 this morning and we had a call down to a number of jobs active at the moment now. I had to take that call for the simple reason that I went in to get a cup of tea and I was only gone like four minutes and I come out to seven missed calls which is nothing new but we've a lot of activity going on at the moment guys with um, even construction uh, of some of our some of our sites as well <clears throat> so I was down this morning with the contractor and a job that should be finished today is going to run on now for another couple of days and um, I had to go and find a couple of solutions to a number of big problems which always starts out, always ends up in a bit of a debate because as I said to them, you're there, you're there to find the solution and fix a problem. So we'll have a sort out now at the moment. It's going to hold us back a wee bit, which is annoying. And um, then of course getting up to do our, our morning meeting at 6 o'clock, make sure everybody's active um, for our GB team. We have three guys in the south uh, through TCTS Ireland, two of them. This week has actually been drafted in some of our new associates and agents. They finished the training, they finished the assessments, they've been assessed and analysed. And hopefully they work out okay, but they're out delivering, um, one's out delivering training, one's doing um, active investigation work, another guy is doing compliance, so it'll be interesting to see. Anyways, as I say, we'll get her a drop of tea, because you should not leave your tea there. Because, yes, I have drove off before with it, but it's just an age thing. Anyway, Monday morning guys, let's get in here. Of course, temperature probe. Um, our health check questionnaire, our hand sanitizer, all that sort of stuff for any of our guys, even internally. It is Monday morning, so we will do um, a full digital electronic recording of all of our health checks and declarations. And the sort of work we do, guys, you know, your temperature is up and down all the time, fluctuates just simply because of what we're doing. So, as we come along to another issue here with the whole Brexit situation and transport, is that we're going through a schedule of vehicle fleet inspections for our vehicle examination division and what the problem is a lot of the vehicles are pounded at the docks okay or held up at the docks or held up waiting for customs clearance um, and movement orders and you know it leaves us then trying to reschedule all of our safety inspections uh, reschedule our vehicle examiners and vehicle inspectors and um, that's out and about on the road but anyways what can you do listen what i want to put up at this stage is also to highlight the fact that we are always looking for vehicle examiners and vehicle inspectors southern ireland southern ireland gb um, and europe so a lot of the europe work guys is actually in relation to gb customers and clients of ours but we are looking for freelance guys we're looking for um you know more of our associates to come on board but more importantly we're looking for our own you know full-time vehicle examiners and inspectors to um I suppose run with that side of the business. So you have that guys, this Brexit thing that's causing a lot of trouble, especially within transportation and logistics. And it's even affecting not our business and our workload, but our scheduling of workload, you know? So up in here trying to get a piece of everything together and uh, it's a lot harder than it is. So again, I want to always put these wee bits in about business. I always want to put these wee bits in for the simple reason that I know when I was starting out and I was, you know, researching, uh, how to start a business, how to build a business, the problems that you have that are, come into it. And I suppose one of the things that I will always say, the most important parts of your business are your first number twos. And that's why as we build and grow the group, we're always looking to increase, you know, our divisional heads. And even up here, you'll see, for example, um, on, our, on our hierarchy, on our structure, you know, each, each division that we have, has a divisional head, whether it's compliance or tire craft analysis and management, or training services or vehicle fleet inspections, um, or transport managers. Maybe put around a wee bit here. Would be better. So we have all these here guys here, and these are all that run through our divisions. And 
from this is where we get our divisional heads which you know it leaves us with a great position to grow and develop the business and to develop the company very very exciting times at tcts group and tcts ireland guys as we grow and develop but more importantly is you know we dominate the sector we bridge all the gaps of all the bullshit uh, round table talks short and time in you know they just run about and um, reiterate from books and this is why 26 years of mass experience you know working double jobs travel jobs and specialist fields um including COVID undercover investigations for nine years you know put all that together and that's the backbone of tcts group but to build a business right you can't do it all yourself you need to get the right people in and um, you need to get the skilled people in and we spend a lot of time and money training people up and um, we have guys here that's with us a long time um, and we have you know people that come and go for a day or two and that's them themselves you know a lot of people think they're a professional body a lot of you know professional person a lot of people think they have a work um, um, ethic and a workability but 95 percent of people don't and this is where you have to try and cater for individually why is our agents and associates program um so popular and why are we trying to grow it so much bottom line is you're dealing with other business owners you know for them to build for us to build our business we're going to by default build their business and this is where the partnership uh, matches up so anyway i'm gonna have to get suited and booted here to get outside it has to be raining but let's go okay folks good morning we are back out on site here down to one of our training yards delivering training and um forklift operations for counterbalance so down here today we're just setting all up uh, we have nathan nathan out training today so he's one of the training instructors today here get the guys all in on site go through the usual the chicanes the figure of eight the pivot points and then we have a lifting yard behind us which is a high stack low stack lift um so yes guys forklift training <laughs> here it is tuesday and we are completely inundated at the moment with health and safety um work all types of our health and safety work that we do investigations going on there are hse unannounced inspections of premises for COVID of a lot of clients and customers that we have especially new customers coming on we are flat out in our health and safety division with sops the development and implementation of safe operating procedures driver handbooks instruction manuals um training uh health and safety audits the, the whole thing you know so not that we're complaining in any way because we are extremely busy however i will take this opportunity to highlight the fact that we're always looking for good health and safety staff health and safety officers um inspectors and trainers mainly so pop us a wee email down below guys into reception at tctsgroup.com relating to that anyway we're gonna to have to kick on here with what we're doing because we have so many um sops at the moment and if you're not sure what an sop is it's a safe operating procedure or a, or a system of work okay and to me i i if they're done right i love them most of the ones i've seen over the years are an absolute disaster somebody in the office has wrote it up no relevant experience in that field so you have to remember guys the two differences because people hear me bang on this all the time there's a difference in you know qualification status and a different in education two completely different things okay because you can sit and do your qualifications and you come out with not only nothing a lot of the time if you don't put it into real life experience but you'll become a liability to you to the client to the customer and to the public as a whole especially regarding health and safety compliance um, and training so this is one of the main things we always look for what experience do you have what can you bring so if we have somebody with mass experience in real life day-to-day -day dealing with it we can then adapt accordingly and get them trained up to the standard we need um internally here at tcts group and tcts ireland so just finish up a couple of calls there gonna go into the front office and see what these guys are at so yeah back in a minute okay let's pop into the front office see what the guys are at so we explain the health and safety division flat to the mat and our tack graphs and all the usual so let's get a wee sneak in here so we have these guys in the front office here 
Adam, what has happened today? Um, CCA customers today, Stephen, so that's um, looking after all their compliance and tech rock management. At the moment, I am giving them a week's notice, a reminder of what is due next week. So, road tax, PSVs, any safety inspections, any grade reform reviews, all that good stuff. Okay, good man. So, just to summarize there, guys, Adam's jumping on. How many clients are you working with today? Uh, six today. Six different clients. Okay, so with that, guys, you're taking over everything from the operator's license compliance, tack graph analysis, tack graph management, training, driver induction, driver management, vehicle management, um, safety inspections, dealing with the external dividers. Um, what else? Putting vehicles on the license, taking vehicles off the license, um, you know, dealing driver with license checks. driver license checks, CPC checks, all the usual guys, okay. John, what are you at here? I'm uh, booking training here at the minute. So uh, we have a bunch of people looking for training. We have online CPC training, we have classroom CPC training, we have forklift training, we have fleet inspection training, and we have daily walk around check and tackle training. I'm trying to get it all squeezed in. And that's just for this the end of this month, is it? It's just for the next, yeah, next week in a bit. Okay, so a bit of a fire, fire hazard going on here too, but yeah, so John says we're swamped at the moment with training, guys. So a lot of our organisational uh, operations all comes from this office here, no matter where you are, and uh, get our guys out in sight. Now, having brought, brought up that point, we are always looking for trainers, as you know, and it's not that we're always looking for trainers, we're looking for damn good, experienced trainers in their field. People who can get, you know, get the message across, have a bit of crack with the delegates that are at the training course. We try our best. I, well, I do say that we set the standard um, of training in relation to having a bit of crack because you go to a lot of training courses and all you want to do is jump out the window, but we try and change that about if we can. Training is very, very important, guys, um, especially induction training. Not because you're telling someone how to suck eggs, but every company is different. Your equipment you use is different. So, for example, if we had a guy going in from... We'll say driving fridges all the time or pulling fridges all the time and he goes into a company to do groupage work and he's using tail lifts, using curtain sides, um, you know, straps, in uh, internal straps, load security, all that sort of crack. It's very, very hard for people to get onto it. And then he's sitting in the yard and we've masked downtime because he doesn't know what he should be doing because he hasn't been trained or inducted properly. So anyway, we've some of the guys working from home. These guys here in the office, um, with all the control measures in place that we can for COVID. Just like any other company, we're struggling to make sure that we meet all of the requirements at times, but we go out of our way every time to do it. So anyway, I'm going to get on here now to one of our bigger screens, set this up, have a couple of Zoom calls um, with our guys in England and in the south of Ireland as well. Go through our planning and throw all back into John in the front office. He's the uh, operations officer. He needs to get all that shit sorted. And yeah, here we go. Okay, that is us finished now with one, two, three, third meeting of the day between Zoom meetings and on-site meetings here um, at our train centre of excellence in Lisnesky County for Manor. So we've been dealing with some of our guys in Telford, um, Hesham. We had a guy in Dublin Docks. We had a guy in Bells Hill in Scotland. And now we have another guy heading for Manchester as well this evening for a crossover job. So same thing crack again, guys. We you know, provide our services everywhere and it's very hard to manage it in regards of one company so if you watch a lot of our vlogs you'll see that we do have multiple companies and the point really of these vlogs as well is about you know i suppose starting and running multiple companies um and how they all kind of fit into each other as well so yeah i get asked a lot of questions all the time email questions in or message message questions coming into us and we're going to do a question and answer session at some stage i know we promised that a couple of years ago we done one when we were in amsterdam we done one when we were in berlin um, but we didn't really get it get it done right. But anyway, getting that stage of the day, guys, we need to move on to plan for the rest of the week. Right, guys, so we're going to continue on from what I was saying this morning regarding our tag graph management service. So we're just heading out on site here at the moment. Um, as I say, we have guys from two divisions, three divisions all together. We were heading safety division, but they're out doing SOPs. So they're out developing the safe operating procedures of the particular trailers um, and apparatus that we're going to see here. Then we have um, guys from our Tachograph Analysis and Management Division. They're going to be out on site. So what our Tachograph Management Service is, is where we look after all your Tachographs. Remember what I keep saying, the Tachograph Analysis is only a very, very simple bit of software. It's only software that analyzes raw data going in, puts it through the matrix and spits it back out again. But what do you do about the infringements? 
how do you control it? What are your control measures? You know, do you have your systems in place, procedures in place, policies in place? Um, do you do a skills gap analysis of who needs training? Are the vehicles downloaded? Are they locked in? Have you taken in a higher vehicle? There's a mass of stuff around it. And more importantly, issuing off infringements. So majority of people who issue infringements, in my experience of 26 years with this stuff, is that the person issuing the infringement to the professional driver has not a clue what they're talking about. They do not know what the infringement is. They do not understand the operational activity of the driver to justify the infringement. So instead, they bang out infringements, dictate to the driver to sign them, but that person doesn't know what they're talking about either. So our telegraph management service, that's what we do guys, we take over the whole thing, no matter where it is. Um, nearly all of it is remote now, or digital. Uh, which even includes dealing with drivers and infringements uh, via Zoom calls, via Microsoft Teams, via WhatsApp video calls, whatever we have to do. And then we can explain to the driver by showing them the data live and showing them where they went wrong or um, how they can fix it and adjust it. Now, most drivers know that they have infringements. But what happens is they know they have infringements, but they don't realise that they haven't recorded it, should I say. They fail to record it. And they forget to record it because, again, they're banging in 13 and 15 hour days. The majority of people watching this video would know that there is 12 hours in a, in a day to work. So drivers are minimum, a, mo a lot of them are minimum down to 13 hour shift or 15 hours three times a week. So the people who work in the office are usually 9 to 5 and they don't know what they're doing. So the driver, remember, is the backbone of your company, the most important nut <laughs> in the wheel of the vehicles. So anyway, we touched base when we get on site and... Um, yeah, we'll pick it up from there. Okay, folks, just out on site here, about to deliver some training in vehicle fleet inspection techniques here at H. McLaren, um, up in Ballymena, so getting these guys skilled up to ensure the vehicles and road only condition on the road at all times um, in adherence to the operator's license. So we might get a bit of foot today if we can, but we're at assessment mode now. We've done the training now for the live assessment, so yeah. Alrighty, so just getting vehicles booked in there for um, safety inspection, which run at the moment this weekend. We have one operator runs every eight weeks, another operator every 10 weeks, and then the last operator is every 12 weeks. So we have guys out conducting the safety inspections for them um, and updating the whole data and all, obviously, through our, through our software solutions. But another issue I want to highlight here, guys, is that because of our software solutions, um, we have operators here at the moment. As you can see, we have a guy here who is actually out of three companies. But so what the, this is telling us, guys, all right, is that they're outside the frequency is stated on their operator's license for their safety inspection. So as you know, guys, the conditions of your license is to ensure that you conduct a safety inspection on the vehicles. Now, this usually it runs anywhere between four six eight ten twelve weeks coming up to 13 micro buses and coaches but you know what you put on your license and what is passed on your license then you must abide by unless you make a variation which is easy done on evidence proven but this particular guy here he's badly outside his frequency times and um, by well going by our system here that automatically analyzes and sets it up um he's badly out maybe by some of them four or five weeks, okay? So although last year, in 2020, there was exemptions and deviations on the testing regime, for example, this here is safety inspection, guys, okay? And the uh, associated documentation must be completed and correctly completed. Now, I get involved with testers, rose placing, DV examiners, they don't even understand what the IM or TM reference numbers are and how you, you categorize that through the testers manuals as well as the categorization of defects. So a lot of the training we do um, for regulatory bodies and policing bodies, we cover this in depth as well with them, but our OLAT training, our transport manager training, and our ordinary compliance covers all this as well. So the bottom line, guys, is that this guy is so far out 
okay. He has been involved in a bit of an accident. Um, thank God nothing major on it. However, the investigation will still be pending, looking for 15 months maintenance records, uh, daily walk around check, rectification receipts, the whole lot, you know. So to try and get this sort of stuff all up and going and done right, it's, um, yeah, it's not easy. So with that happened on, guys, we have people out on site. Uh, we're delivering training daily walk around Techcraft training. We have a guys out on site doing compliance CCA visits, which is a monthly or quarterly on-site visit with remote support in the background. We go and take over all the compliance and ensure that you're running uh, compliant within your operator's license, your health and safety, your legal um, entity, the whole thing, uh, depending on what level of service that you want. Um, from that, you know, a lot of companies are, are loving it because they're reducing their staff numbers now. COVID has put a lot of staff out and again, we can go in and bridge that gap, especially for the uh, systems that we have heavily invested in as well. Uh, what else will be happening? Our safety inspections are happening, forklift training and pallet truck training, um, health and safety inspections Saturday night late, Sunday night late. Um, we have Birmingham, Manchester, Leeds, Durham, um, Bells Hill, Glasgow, um, Kilkenny, Limerick, Galway, Cork, and where's the day? Two years in Dungan today as well. So, listen, it's what we have to do, guys, at that stage. But that is in regard to TCTS Group. I have now to jump onto a Zoom meeting uh, for a TLS, which is Transport Logistics Services Limited, which is a transportation freight forwarding company, um, and then get stuff set up for interviews coming out soon as well. So, anyway, we need to keep going. Yes, sir. So this is one of the main issues here, guys, uh, that we have with, in, you know, multiple business going on, what have you. So we have a lot of construction work going down, going on at our down at our head office, which is very exciting times. Don't get me wrong. Uh, yes, no seatbelt on. I'm holding the camera, but I'm in our yard here at the moment. Now, as I was saying, the, the problem with multiple businesses and trying to run things is that now I have to drop what I'm doing here uh, in this particular job and just head up the road to meet two of our guys from TLS Transport Logistics Services Limited where we have to move over two trucks um, and try and get a trans, trans ship going on as well we have four drivers to fulfill from our driver hire division which we're very lucky the TCTS group and TCTS Ireland work side by side with TLS for driver fulfillment and that's from transport managers to drivers forklift drivers and um, warehouse operatives the whole thing you name it and um, we do it and we cover it all so yes have to jump from one job to another job sorry one company to another company and um, from that then we have Benfrey um, properties tonight which is Saturday night hopefully to uh, one of our student accommodations that we can we can get sorted out so last year it hit us big time with that and um, as it did with everybody so we'll have to try and fix that problem as well but apart from that all's good anyway let's go Sunday evening and we're just back up at our train centre here in Lissaski. 